Seconds remaining. Card steps up. And Card lets it go. And incomplete. And that's a ball game, folks. Alabama comes back. And they defeat Texas on the road 20 to 19 in a thriller. Well, Texas had a chance, and they blew it. But honestly, this video is going to be more about Alabama because I th honestly think Alabama is overrated. Look how they played this game. All the penalties, all the mistakes. The only person that looked good in this game was Bryce Young, and that was toward the end of the game. And he came back and won this game for the Crimson Tide. And after their defense was playing okay, definitely in the red zone, but no one else. Jameer Gibbs played all right. He had a couple good catches for some yards, and then a couple other runs by Bryce Young really held Alabama in this game. But I'm going to give kudos for Texas. Their defense played very well. Their offense, Quinn Ewers got hurt in the first half. Hudson Card then got hurt. He was hobbling around. He couldn't throw the ball downfield. And that's what ultimately lost Texas this game was because they couldn't go downfield. And I firmly believe if Quinn Ewers was healthy, even if Hudson Card was healthy, they would have beat Alabama. But getting into the stats, Bryce Young was 27 for 39, 213 yards, one touchdown. He also had 38 yards on the ground. McClellan had six rushes, 97 yards. They should have gave him the ball more. And on the other side, Hudson Card, he was 14 for 22. He had 158 yards, no turnovers. He did take three sacks. So Quinn Ewers hurt in the first half. He was 9 for 12, 134 yards. And then rushing B. John Robinson, 21 rushes for 57 yards. He didn't really get anything done. And I'm going to give Alabama credit for there. Their defense definitely stopped him. And then passing wise, Jameer Gibbs, he had nine receptions, 74 yards. And then Holden had four receptions, 39 yards. And on the Texas side, Xavier Worthy, five receptions, 97 yards. B. John Robinson, he had three receptions, 73 yards. So the running backs were really doing a lot. Even winning him, he had 64 yards receiving. But looking back at this game, Alabama plays so sloppy. 15 penalties for 100 yards. They looked horrible. They did not look prepared. Texas defense was bringing it. They were stopping them. Stopped them on fourth and one. They were stopping them on third down. They were sacking them. There was one moment where Texas got a safety and they didn't call the safety because he got the ball off when he was on his head in the end zone. And I just think that's crazy. And then they called targeting. But that got brought back and then they were able to punt the ball and then texas also missed like a 20 yard field goal or something and it's just little things like that like they would have won this game even with a hobbled second string quarterback this is why i'm probably gonna pull alabama from the number one spot and put a couple teams ahead of them because it's like they were trying to lose this game they looked awful texas isn't even ranked and if quinn ewers or hudson Carver were healthy texas would have won and they probably would have won by a touchdown or more judging how all this went out and the last thing I gotta say, Will Anderson Jr., I mean, he played a decent game. He had that sack at the end that was, like, critical for them. But Texas ended up making the field goal anyway, so it wasn't that big. He didn't really give his best performance because they were getting out early, even though Hudson Card was holding on to it a few times. And I know it was a very frustrating day for Alabama, but they just did not look like themselves. They did not look good. I'm optimistic about Texas. They can have a pretty good season, maybe win eight games if they get healthy and they play like that every game. With that being said, let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments. Let me know what you think. Alabama's going to do the rest of the year. Well, let me know what you think Texas is going to do the rest of the year. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.